Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, I'll be letting you know the All Black squad for the upcoming Rugby Championship 2022. But if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Nonetheless, let's get straight into this video. Right, so the All Blacks, they have recently announced their squad for the Rugby Championship 2022. A few changes from what we saw for the Irish tour, but that is mainly due to the injuries of certain players but this is going to be intense because they head straight to South Africa where they have got two back-to-back -back tests up against the Springboks it's going to be tough for them definitely coming off a loss in the tour up against Ireland but we will look through first of all at the hookers they are as follows Dane Coles he is still in there we only saw a few minutes of that man throughout the Irish tour so I assume they will give him a little bit more time in the South African League of the Rugby Championship. Next name, it is Samasoni Takiaho. He did very well in that series up against Ireland, having some good impact off the bench. So I assume that that will be the role that he plays in South Africa. And then the last name in the hookers, it is Cody Taylor, who did start a majority of the matches up against Ireland. So no changes from what we saw for the initially announced squad for the Irish Tour compared to the Rugby Championship that we have got coming up very soon. Then the next names, it is the props, will be Aidan Ross, George Bauer, Nepo Lulala, Offa Toanga Fassi, Ethan DeGroote makes his way into there for the props. And then the last name, a man who did take quite the head knock in that second test up against Ireland, it is Angus Ta'aval. So just the one change, that is Ethan DeGroote coming in for Carl Tuanukiafi. And I believe that is because Big Carl is heading to Montpellier for the top 14. That will be starting up just a little bit later than the rugby championship starts. So I think that is why he has been left out of the squad for this one, but George Bauer, I'd have to say, is the informed number one. He played brilliantly up against Ireland for number threes. It's more of that question of do you go with Nepo Lolala or Offa Toanga Fassi when it comes to that starting lineup? Because Angus Tarval, he is very skilled as well, but it's normally one of those two for Toanga Fassi or Nepo Lolala. For the Irish tour, it was mainly Offa Toanga Fassi. I may have to watch that discipline a little bit. I think Nepo Lolala is the only one of those tight air props now that I think about it who didn't get a card. But that's because he only played about 40 minutes, but I guess a record's a record. Looking through at the locks, there was a little bit of a change there throughout the Irish door. That is due to the injury of Josh Lord. Then also Tupavai had a bit of an injury. Sam Whitelock, he was missing for a week or two. So for this one, in the locks, they have got Scott Barrett, Brody Retallick, Patrick Tuipalotu. Then it is Tupavai and Sam Whitelock. So no Josh Lord there. He is still out with his injury. And Patrick Tuipalotu is the man who got brought in to replace Josh Lord for the locks. Looking through at the loose forward trio, Sam Kane, he is still there and he is the captain and man being brought in. It is actually Shannon Frizzell, so that is rather than Peter Gusso Akula, who has been taken out of that squad. Dalton Pabali, Adi Savia, Akiriwani, and then Hoskins Satutu. So just the one change, and that is Peter Gusso Akula. He is missing from there. He didn't play terribly in that Irish tour, but he is going to be missing out. And while I am on the subject of forwards, I should mention that there is a little bit of a disclaimer at the bottom, and that is that three players are not going to be travelling to South Africa for the rugby championship. So they will be Nepo Lalala and Brody Rotelok when it comes to the forwards. So they will both be missing. And instead of them, it will be Josh Dixon and Tyrell Lomax who come in as injury cover. And then in the back line, rather than Jack Goodhue going to South Africa, it will be Braden Enor. So they are those little additions to the squad that we are going to be looking out for. I am wondering whether or not those men will get themselves any minutes when they head over to Springbok soil. But now looking through at the backs, Finley Christie, Falau Fakatava, and Aaron Smith. They are the halfbacks, unchanged from what we saw for the New Zealand versus Ireland tour. And the same can be said about the fly halves, Bowden Barrett, Richie Moonga, and then Stephen Perafeta. So no changes there either. And I think that is going to be what they stick with for quite some time. Stephen Perafeta, unlucky not to get any minutes throughout that tour up against Ireland. So hopefully in either of the games up against South Africa, maybe Argentina though might be when they decide to give Peter Federer a go. Looking at the centres, it will be Jack Goodhue, but like I mentioned, not heading to South Africa. David Harvelli, Rico Ioane, Roger Torvasashek, who recently got his debut for the All Blacks, and then Quintupaya did end up missing that last game, but did play very well in the first two matches. And also another notable thing there, Rico Ioane recently bringing up his 50th test match so his 51st will be up against the box. Now moving on to the back three. The last positions that the All Blacks have gone with in their squad. Geordie Barrett, Caleb Clark, Lester Fainanuku, Will Jordan and Severis. So the question on a lot of people's mind is will Will Jordan, double Will, is Will Will Jordan, that's very hard to say without Will in front of Will, isn't it? Can Will Jordan start at number 15 for the All Blacks? And if he does... Will that change the way that that back line is operating? Geordie Barrett, very good under the high ball, so I suspect that he will get the nod to start 
for that first match up against South Africa, but maybe for the second one or any of those other games of the Rugby Championship, Jordan does get himself that spot as the fullback. But nonetheless, that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you all very much for tuning in. We will be covering all of the All Blacks Rugby Championship campaign on the channel, so be sure to stick around and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But thank you all very much for tuning in, and I will see you all for the next one.